construction time with Jordan Shafrin. As you can see, we're building here about 4,000 square feet of livable space in beautiful Los Angeles. Let's take a look at one of our projects. At this point, we're in the lathing stage, which is just before the layers of stucco. We are going to do three layers of standard stucco. We have the scratch, the brown, and the color code finish. Some options that you can have are smooth stucco, Venetian stucco, or facing the house with some type of a block or a stone finish. Let's take a look. Originally, we were looking, we were working with about 1,200 square feet of liv livable space, and our clients hired us to build a second story and strip the entire first story, and this way we could customize this entire project. We obviously use an architect and an engineer, and this is a raised foundation slab, which is a little bit easier because it allows us to run all the wiring, electrical lines, plumbing, and drainage systems underneath the home. Let's continue taking a look. As you can see, the front doors are going to be at the end of this landing. custom vinyl doors and as you can see the bigger the panels or the doors are the more visual space you're going to have when you look at your backyard so that's definitely going to be a perk once you're sitting in your kitchen especially an open floor plan and that's going to add you know to your experience there's going to be a fireplace over here with built-in cabinets on both sides of the fireplace. The, flat, the fireplace will have a custom faced stone on it with a mantle. Now the Cat 5, the internet inclines, everything's been run. At this point, we have all the rough plumbing and all the rough electrical done. As you can see, this house will showcase recessed light, can lights in every room. With Title 24 specifications. In composition wood floor installation will cover the surface of both first and second floor. Now, this is one of the bedrooms, and as you can tell, we're looking at the framing, and there's going to be a mirrored glass door here unless the client decides to change their mind. And the standard size is about two by five, so you can have just enough wall space. Over here you can see this is the location of the 220 electrical panel, and it's on the side wall. We had to get a variance to get this unit on the side wall. Its location was on the other end of the home, but there are wires running from the street lights. So let's take a look here now. This is the bat downstairs bathroom, which is a, as you can see, a stand-up shower. All the rough work's been implemented. The plumbing is on this wall across the way. And we're gonna have our sink over here, the toilet over here to the side, and then our stand-up custom showers with the seamless doors. And as you can tell, these are higher ceilings than the standard eight-foot ceilings. So we have about nine-foot ceilings. This is another bedroom. We have, this is the guest bedroom, and again, bigger windows. These are custom windows. 
elevated vinyl windows, and you can see we use the top brand's mill guard because of the insulation properties in the windows. Standard, again, this is a bigger closet. This is about, about eight feet by two feet. And you can use the top section. There's also lighting implemented. So this is pretty much the first floor. The gas line, everything's bridged from the raised foundation. As you can tell, if we move, let me move the spring so you can get a better visual. We have all the plumbing lines, the gas lines, and we had to further excavate because we had to weigh in the weight specifications for the second story. We have the staircase and we also have our clients wanted some additional space underneath the staircase. So we will have some built-in cabinets or an access door with the ability just to access um, you know, the area below the staircase, which gives you some cupboard space or storage space and whatnot. As you can tell, if you want to capture the electrical line, there's going to be a receptacle. Perfect. A receptacle. I mean, I'm sorry, a chandelier that's going to hang down all the way from the ceiling. We have our windows installed. All the lines run. Perfect popped in, electrical wiring, the receptacle single game boxes, our vent lines, exhaust fans. So this is as rough as it gets. The next step, once you have the framing and you have the rough plumbing and rough electrical, then the guys are stuccoing and lathing the exterior of the home and we're gonna start drywalling up all the walls. All the studs will be covered and cased with drywall, half an inch the code on the inside. We have our master bath. Tub, stand up shower, our vent line, everything's stuck in nice and neat. Now we need to run our HVAC system. We need to find the right placement for it. There's the detail here with the ceiling, which is a gable run, design, the rafters. Gives you elevated ceilings. So look here. This is another bedroom. This is going to be a kid's bedroom. Over here. Again, same thing. This, this is the last bathroom, which will be the third. The bathroom on this end, which is a stand-up shower. We have all our lines in, and that pretty much concludes the inside of the house. And we will make another video to showcase the drywall going up and more of the finish as it starts to develop. If you like our videos or you have any questions, please contact us. We'll be more than happy to answer any type of question in any phase of construction that you may have. Again, we. We abide by all the codes and regulations of the Construction State License Board in the state of California, but still, we can give you some ideas and design concepts if it can help you. Again, my name is Jordan Shaffer. If you like our videos, please subscribe. We're going to be showing a lot of different types of projects and in different phases. We're going to be meeting clients. So, I hope you enjoyed our video and take care.